Pyray is used by speedrunners all the time. You can use it to locate structures, entities, and more. And today I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's get right into it. These are all of the blocks that can be detected by Pyray, with a few exceptions. I've organized them into three categories. The first is the blocks that could indicate a natural structure. The second is not much of a category. The dragon head could indicate an end city if you're in the end, and if you're in the overworld, it could indicate that there's someone's base nearby. The third category is all of the blocks that definitely indicate that there's somebody's base nearby. But how do you actually access the Pyray? As of 1.20, to open the Pyray, simply press F3 and 1. This will pull up the normal debug menu along with the Pyray, as you can see in the bottom right. You can use the number keys on your keyboard to interact with the Pyray. To find these blocks, go to tick, in this case, it would be three. And then level, which is one for me. And then entities to detect what entities are nearby. If you're trying to detect blocks, you want to go to block entities, which is two. You're probably never going to see this much, this many things on it. But as you can see, they do show up. Both campfires will show up on Pyray, except they, even if it's a soul campfire and not a regular campfire, the only thing that will pop up is campfire. If I destroy that one and refresh, the, if I destroy that and refresh the Pyre, you can see it still just says campfire. And the same thing happens if I destroy the soul campfire and refresh the pipe chart. It still just says campfire. Mob spawners and chests will show up on the pyre all the time. So, because mobs, those dungeons are all over the world. So these really mean nothing if you're looking for something other than a dungeon. A bell and a sign could mean that there's a village nearby. Hanging signs do show up as hanging sign and not just sign and they don't actually generate in natural structures so this one could actually this one should actually be over there with someone's base the dragon head is useful for finding end cities but if you're in the overworld or the nether then it likely means that there's somebody's base if you're on multiplayer the conduit, barrel, trapped chest, ender chest, and shulker box all mean all, none of these generate in natural structures. The barrel might, I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Tell me in the comments if it does. These are all signs that either you're nearby your base or someone else's if you're on multiplayer. Beehives also used to show up on the pie chart, but now they don't. As you can see, if I fly over here to this, beehive right here, but it doesn't show up on the pyre. If you're in the nether, then a chest and a mob spawner will still will show up if you're near a, a fortress or a bastion. That's This is a really good way to find a nether fortress. The same goes for if you're in the end. The end gateway will also show up on the pyre. So if you're looking for a way back to the back to the main island, you can use this on the outer one and uh, outer islands to find your way to, to find your way back. Ender chests in the end likely mean the presence of an end city. So definitely look out for that while you're searching in the end. But how do you actually find things with Pyre? You know how to tell when they're nearby when they show up on the chart. But how do you tell what direction? To do this, turn on chunk borders using F3 and G. So I'm just gonna fly over here. You can see the stuff over there. And I, I'm gonna turn my render distance. I'm gonna turn my render distance down to maybe six chunks. And refresh the ch pie chart. So as you can see, the mob spawner and chest still appear. 
still show up on the pie chart. To find out what direction the to find out which direction to go to find whatever block you're looking for. If I if I didn't know which direction those blocks were in, I would just stay here and turn up my render distance. Maybe it was at six, so let's go to seven chunks. And there's still nothing there. Turn it up to eight. There we go. Now some of the things start to show up. So I know, now I know that there's some of those blocks within eight chunks of me. So if I fly over into the next chunk and then refresh it, they're still there. But if I were to fly over into this chunk and refresh it, now they're gone, which means I got farther away from it. So I know by going this way, I'll get closer, unless it's over there or there. You should only have to repeat that two times at most to find out which direction. Because if you get closer this way, but not this way, then you know it's over there. Because you got closer when you went this way and that way. But they're right over here. And I found the things that I was looking for. To turn off the Pi Ray, just press F3 and 1 again, and it will turn off. If it's on and you turn off the debug screen and then turn it back on, it will still be there. And remember to refresh the pie ray once you leave a chunk or area that has these blocks. Otherwise, they will still show up even if you they're gone, not here. So like if I destroy the conduit, you can see that it's still there even though I've destroyed it. But then if I refresh the pie chart, it's gone. So that's how you find things using the pie ray. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.